Hi everybody, I'm Patrick Novotny. I am the tie guy. It's my YouTube channel and I'm doing how-to videos on every single necktie knot known to man and I'm bringing them to you. If that's the kind of thing you're looking for, then please subscribe. This time I got a knot from a galaxy far, far away in commemoration and honor of the new Star Wars movie, Episode 8, The Force Awakens. It's called the Jed Tie Knot. Get it? Jedi. Jed Tie. So it's been invented by a fellow named Matthew Simmons. He's got a YouTube channel called Simmons Essentials if you want to check out the original video. Alright, so this is supposed to represent the handle of a lightsaber. So there we go. That's the whole idea behind it. Let's get started. Alright, so here we go. I chose a green necktie in honor of Luke Skywalker. I'm so excited that he ha is in the Star Wars Episode 8, The Force Awakens, and he's going to be in the continuing movies. We'll see how he, he survives through that or not. We'll see. Um, and I know... In the original uh, filming, the lightsaber is blue and later it's colored in green. So I know everybody who's a Star Wars fan knows that kind of stuff. Uh, will give me a heck for it. All right, here we go. The big end. We're going to pinch the big end, bring the the outsides in. We're going to fold it in, pull it back halfway until you got something that looks like that. That is our dimple. Pinch that with one hand. Grab the little end. Cross it over the little end. It's going to be fed up through the back of your necktie and back across from the side that you just came from. Now from here, you're going to feed the little end around the back end. You'll see the seam side is gonna be up for a moment. Feed, take it up through the top, through the front of your necktie, back down. Everything stays nice and firm, and across. This is where we get into a, not a tricky part, but an essential part of the necktie. Now aiming downwards, this should go down on a diagonal. And if you want to keep your dimple, you have to sort of carry that along like so. so. Just extend your dimple with your hand. So now we are going to draw down the tie on an angle like this. It's going to wrap around the back. And this time it's going to go horizontally across. And it's going to wrap around the back one more time. From here it's quite low. As you can see, we're going to take the little end, we're going to take it out sort of, not on the side of your neck, but sort of where your cheek is or where my jawbone is, not, you know, not quite as far as my ear. I'm going to just tuck that in gently right now, like so. This is my best chance to cinch this up before I adjust the rest of my uh, saber. Alright, holding on to the knot from here, not this part. I'm pulling down with the big end so you got it cinched up to your neck. There we go. So that sort of maintained our shape of our lightsaber. And now I can start holding on to this. I want to hold on to the bottom so as I'm uh, going to put the little end behind my collar and sort of tighten that in so it doesn't even come loose, that I don't lose the shape of what all the work I just did here. So. So I make sure that's center. There's my lightsaber handle. There we go. So doing this obviously with a wider collar, since I don't have any sort of plain, easy, uh, widespread collars, I'm showing you with, with my blue shirt. That is how the jet tie is done. I hope you guys like that. If you guys are taking necktie knot selfies, I'd love to see them. So please tag me if it's in Instagram or if it's on my Facebook page. All the links are on my YouTube channel. Also, in the links, all the links are in the description below. And thank you so much. And may the force be with you.